tackle this last question. Okay, with regards to Laylatul Qadr, mm -hmm. uh, as I said that the, the Sheikh is sitting here or any Sheikh who is representing uh, the deen, he's going to either use a Quranic verse or a hadith, mm -hmm. right? Not personal input. We don't go by the opinion of every opinionated person here. The Quran says, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر We spoke before in details about why ليلة القدر is a very superior night and ليلة القدر its عبادة is superior to the worship of one thousand months more than 83 years, continuous ibadah. If you happen to stand up in prayer at night, on the night of the 27th, meaning tomorrow is the 27th of Ramadan, for instance, or the 29th, or the 23rd. So it's not necessarily the 27th. There are some hadith indicated it was the 27th because it happened once, twice, several times to be on the 27th, but not necessarily. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Laylatul Qadr is a night that travels. So it is not the same night on every Ramadan. Mm. It is not. And this is something that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala have concealed in order to let His servants compete with regards to ibadah and not to sit back, rest, recline and be lazy. Because I assure you, I assure you, if it is confirmed today that Laylatul Qadr was the first day of Ramadan, people would just sit back and that's it. Khalas, my night of ibadah was better than 1,000 months. Why do I have to continue? So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Almighty concealed uh, on what night will it be. He just said, it is one of the nights of Ramadan. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam limited uh, the, uh, the time to the last 10 nights of Ramadan. It is from sunset till Fajr. Also Surah Al-Qadr says, Salamun hiya hatta matla' al-Fajr. So once the dawn appears, it's over. The night is over. Those who did not really get to work, it's over. Because you can tell, at sunrise, the sun would rise without sunbeams or rays that you can look at it with your naked eye and it would not hurt you. It would look like a moon. And that night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا On that night, Jibreel alayhi salam a ruh, and the rest of the angels, they descend. They come down to our earth. They enjoy the recitation of the Qur'an. They join us in ibadah. So I want you to imagine that a place that's full of angels. Allah. How will it be? Very pleasant weather. Very nice neither cold nor hot, it may be raining, because rain is a, is a sign of mercy. Mm -hmm. And that's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked us to, to make dua while it's raining, where your dua is most likely to be answered and accepted. And uh, since the angels are everywhere, I don't think you can hear the barking of a dog, because the angels do not exist in a place where a uh, dog is in. So, Al-Ard will be full of peace. Mm -hmm. Weather will be very pleasant, neither cold nor hot. And it is your opportunity to seize that night in ibadah in order to earn the reward of worshiping Allah for more than 83 years continuously. Which night is it? It is one of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So work on them once they begin from now. Start practicing because Aisha radiallahu ta'ala mm -hmm. narrated that whenever the last 10 nights of Ramadan would begin, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa would do the following. Shadda mi'zarahu would fasten his waist belt. It's a sign that he's going to work very hard and labor. Mm -hmm. And ahya layla, ayqadha ahla, and he would awaken his family. Everybody get up, let's pray. Wa ahya layla, he would make his night like the day, alive. Recitation, dua, dhikr, prayer. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha ardaha, when she asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what to say, if it is Naylatul Qadr, he said, say, Allahumma a'inni. Allahumma innaka afuun, tuhibbu al-afwa, fa'afu anni. That is the dua to be said, if it is known and confirmed, it is Laylatul Qadr, yet it will be confirmed next morning. Just last thing, I know that we're running out of time. I remember when I was very young and I joined uh, a group of people who worship on their own uh, way. 
And on the 27th, they celebrated that night. There was plenty of food, sweet and drinks and everything. So mm. we ate our fill and we drank to the point that we could not even pray tarawih. Mm. So the real celebration of the last 10 nights and the odd nights, and Laylatul Qadr, if you're confirmed, if you know when it is it, is by praying, by making dhikr, by reciting the Quran, and by saying, Allahumma inna ka'afu wun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anna. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to reach the night of Laylatul Qadr. Jazakallah khair, Shaykh, for your time and for all your wonderful advices. Well, that wraps it up today on Ask Huda. To all the viewers, we say Jazakallah khair for those who have participated and those who have been supporting Huda TV. And for those who would like to support Huda TV, please write to us, support at huda.tv. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If my love is attached to thee, then from sins I will be free. Each time my heart will beat, your name will resound with heat. Allah is my heart's speech, your mercy is what I beseech. Keep in my heart your remembrance and in your deen allow me to advance. Help me in my quest, permit me to pass the ultimate test. Help me in my quest, permit me to pass the ultimate test. Help me in my quest, permit me to pass the ultimate test. Help me in